Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian and I want to share something with you guys today about the service I just got done on my Can-Am. So stick around. So as you can see, I just brought my trailer with the Can-Am from the dealership. I went to a place here, um, name is, uh, the dealer is Sky Power Sports. Um, they're actually the closest dealer that we have here where I live. It's about an hour and give or take 10 minutes. So I wanna show you guys some of the things and what to expect when you go out to get it service, my Can Am um, actually got the light on for the I guess every 50 hours it turns on, and it's a maintenance required. So I want to show you guys a little bit of the details on that and share uh, some information on what to expect when you guys get the service done. So I have the paper inside. I'm gonna get the Can Am off the the Renegade off the trailer and. I'll be showing you guys those specs. So let's take it out of the trailer. So here it is guys, I just got it back from the dealer. I always try to keep it clean, keep it up to date with all the fluids and everything. So here we have the paper from the, the dealer. Um, before I show you guys the repair bill on it, or actually the maintenance bill on it, I wanna go through a few things that they actually uh, take a look at um, so first of all down here there is a lot of grease fittings that these can-ams have they're all over the place there's one there there's one on the other side we take a look we come around you can see that they completely pack them with grease there's another one there another one in the corner as well so all these little uh, grease points they have to touch up on all the bushings there's another one right in here I don't know if it's too dark for you guys to see but there's a lot of grease points that these machines have that needs to be greased every so often with you being in the water and going through all the mud and everything they you know usually tend to need or be greased all the time um the differentials they change the fluids on both differentials the one in the front the one in the back, um, they take a look at the, uh, if you see on this top section here, it'll have uh, change oil and filter, uh, corrected tire pressure, check brakes. I actually need front brakes. Uh, my rear brakes look all right. I'm needing two bulbs as well for the low beams on both sides this one actually got some water which i 
need to uh, open it up, clean it, and replace the bulb on it. Um, they also have lube and adjusted cables, checked all fluid levels, greased all chassis points, pivot joints. That's all the little lube, uh, the nipples that I was showing you for the grease points. They're basically all over the place. Um, connected. Uh, let me see. Completed all inspections. Listed in service manual. Test road unit. Air filter is pretty dirty. And pre-filter is missing. The filter, which is located underneath this cover, I actually had taken out that cover that goes ar around it. Um, and it's what they call a pre-filter, but I had removed it. It was so dirty that I couldn't get it to come clean. So I already ordered a new filter. So once it comes in, I'll be replacing that on it. Um, and then charging at 11.4 or 14.4 uh, volts. So the battery and all that system seems to be working just fine as well. Um, so that's for the majority what they do. So they change the engine, oil filter, oil and filter. They replace the gear oil on both differentials. They do all the pivot points or all the uh, joints where they have the grease fittings on them. They grease those up, lube them up, uh, and then they check basically regular maintenance on it, which at least on mine, everything seemed to check out fine. Um, I do know I have to replace the bulbs and I have to uh, put the front brake pads because literally on the handle, you, you can you can barely feel them. So I know they were already wearing down. And then um, here's a repair bill or the maintenance bill. I don't know why I keep saying repair bill. So for the gear oil and all that and the uh, oil disposal fee, Can-Am oil kit came out to 124. And then it's two and a half hours of uh, labor. So that was 297.50. The total came out to 421.97. And then after taxes and all that, so my total was $478.13. Um, I guess is a little bit on the higher end, but they are more of an expensive machine. So kind of was expecting that. Um, never had to do any maintenance on it um, ever since I bought it. I bought this unit used. It already had 83 hours on it when I bought it. Now it's up to 130. And uh, according to what the guy told me, every 50 hours, uh, it's probably going to need uh, the maintenance done on it. Um, and usually the computer will tell you. So on the dash there, on the little, on the head unit, it's going to tell you that the maintenance is required. So just wanted to touch base with you guys, keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing with the machine and um, have a few ideas and a few things coming. So um, pretty soon you'll be able to find out what those are. Stay tuned and I'll definitely keep you guys up to date on the next video. So have a good one, stay safe and peace out.